You are watching Adjuster TV. Hey IAs and welcome to the iPass Auto IA Show where we walk you through how to become a successful independent adjuster or auto damage appraiser by starting, diversifying, and increasing your earnings with auto claims. If you're ready, we can get started right now. Today on this episode, I'd like to walk you through the difference between an adjuster and an appraiser. Many new IAs are like, what the heck is the difference? Do I need a license to be an auto damage appraiser? Do I need a license to handle auto claims in my state? And if so, what does an appraiser actually do that's different from an adjuster? So that's what we're gonna answer on today's show. For all the best tips, tricks, and tools, head on over to Adjuster TV's YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell notification so you can get notified every time we have a new video. Now, what's the difference between an adjuster and an appraiser? And how I'm gonna tackle this is twofold. First off, I'm gonna answer that obvious question, big picture. Now, some of you guys watching may be veterans and may go, ah, Chris, it's more complicated than that. Fine, but I want a new IA to understand the difference in job function between an adjuster and an appraiser. And then the second part of the show, we're gonna talk about exactly how an auto damage appraiser does their job. What are the elements that make up their job? Okay, so first off, an adjuster is interested in mainly two different things. Big picture. Number one is payment, and number two is coverage. They're interested, is this claim covered? And if so, how much do I have to pay? That is what their overarching job is. That is what they're concerned with. Now, in contrast, the appraiser and how they complement the adjuster, their job is they're concerned with assessing damage and value of a vehicle. So they're helping the adjuster do their job. An appraiser is going out and assessing how much damage a vehicle has, then determining and how much this vehicle is actually worth and passing that information on to the adjuster. Now an adjuster can handle the job of an auto damage appraiser in most states. They can go out and inspect a vehicle and make coverage and payment decisions. But an appraiser cannot act as an adjuster and make policy, coverage, or payment decisions on behalf of the insurance company. They're only concerned with damage and value of the vehicle. Now, as an auto damage appraiser, the way that we assess damage is really four major parts to it. Number one is part identification. What parts are damaged on this vehicle? So we've got to know the parts of a vehicle. Without knowing the parts of the vehicle, you can't properly assess damage. The second part of being an auto damage appraiser is being able to determine the repair operations. What repair operation needs to happen for the damaged part? Does it need replaced or does it need repaired? Once you determine that, the third piece to it is to determine, does this panel now need refinished or painted? Does this other panel need blended? Does anything need r and Being able to put that all together, then in the fourth piece, creating a professional estimate using estimating software is how we as auto damage appraisers assess damage. Now the second major job of an auto damage appraiser is to determine or assess the value of a vehicle. What is this particular vehicle that we're looking at worth? Not just any Ford Focus, but what is this 1999 Ford Focus with 120,000 miles that belongs to John Smith and St. Lewis, Missouri worth. Now, how do we do that? So there's a few different ways that we gather this information for the adjuster to make the final payment on what a vehicle's worth should it be a total loss. We won't go much into total loss today, but this is the process by which we build a case for a total loss. So first off, you have to determine the year, make, model, and addition of the vehicle. Is this a 1999 Ford Focus EX or EL or LE or nothing? That is huge to determining the value of the vehicle. 
that determines that it has specific options. It determines what kind of uh, engine it may have. So understanding what those are and documenting them are critical as an auto damage appraiser. The next thing is determining the mileage of the vehicle. We do this through an odometer photo. This is by saying, hey, John's vehicle has 182,113 miles on it. Take a picture of it, write it down, and that helps us give you the value of the vehicle. <laughs> Got ducks in the footage today. So the third part of assessing the value of a vehicle is determining the options of the vehicle. Does it have power windows, power locks? Does it have home link? Does it have a sunroof? Is it leather or cloth seats? Determining all the different options of the vehicle is a critical job of an auto damage appraiser because if you're not gathering the right options, the insurance company is either under or overpaying for that vehicle in the event of a total loss. Next comes the condition. The condition of a vehicle is what was this vehicle like before the wreck, before the loss? Was the seats tore up? Was there rust on the panels? Was this car taken care of? Was the oil changed? Was, did grandma keep it in a garage except for when she took it out on Sundays and then she lotioned the interior every week? These differences determine a different value for the vehicle. Grandma's car that's taken care of is better than what my vehicle is, I promise, because I have kids. That varies how much an insurance company will pay based on the condition of that particular vehicle. Now lastly, some of the tools we use for total losses. Once we've gathered all this information, we can now assess the value of the vehicle and help the insurance company assess the value of the vehicle with a few specific tools that we use in the industry. Number one is NADA Guides. This is a website that gives a vehicle's value on the internet. You can just go in, plug in the vehicle, make, model, addition, mileage, and options, and find out roughly what that vehicle is worth according to NADA. Kelly Blue Book is another one that some people use. This is typically more for consumer to consumer, selling a vehicle to somebody else personally. This is not an insurance company value of a vehicle. Typically, NADA is preferred to insurance companies over Kelly Blue Book. Next is getting comparables. A comparable vehicle can be found on Auto Trader. So if Sue in North Carolina is selling her 1999 Ford Focus for $3,000, that doesn't necessarily help us determine what John's vehicle is worth in Missouri. Why? Because they're for sale or in different places of the country. It might be worth more in North Carolina than it is in Missouri. So a lot of times insurance companies will have the auto damage appraiser find comparables through autotrader.com or like sites where they can find out, hey, there's three vehicles for sale near John and this is what they're selling for. So now we have an idea of what the market is saying that vehicle is worth. The last tool that we use and is really the cream of the crop in the way that most of us are asked to do the job is to fill out CCC total loss forms or auto source total loss forms, Mitchell valuation forms. All of these forms are used to document everything you determined about the vehicle, the make, model, mileage, addition, all of that, the options, put into a single form and turned into a company who keeps track of what vehicles are selling for in that area of the country. They gather all the data and they make a judgment call and pass on a huge report to the insurance company of what they think the vehicle's actually worth. This is how insurance companies typically make the final payment decision on a total loss, but your documentation of what the options are, of that mileage, of the vehicle make, model, addition, and all of that factors in. If you said John's vehicle has home link and it doesn't, the insurance company is likely paying three to $500 too much. If you don't document home link, then you're likely robbing the insured of three to $500. So your documentation as an auto damage appraiser matters. Our job as an auto damage appraiser is to help the adjuster at the insurance company make those coverage at policy and payment decisions. Now, if you're interested in becoming an auto damage appraiser or an auto adjuster as a part of a diversified career as an IA, then head over to IAPath.com. 
you click on the how to find work button you'll get a free video course where we walk you through exactly how to start your career and business as an IA thank you very much for watching the auto IA show until next week keep walking your path and claiming your life